This is the installation video for Pro Album Designer. So go to photoshopplugin.com and then go to Products, Pro Album Designer and Download and click on Download the latest version. That will download a zip file and that zip file will uh, unpack itself on a Mac computer. On a Windows computer you will probably have to right click and choose Extract All Files. So you'll have a folder, the Pro Album folder, uh, with the current version number, and inside there, there should be a file called install.jsx. You can double click on that. That should start Photoshop uh, and launch, launch the installation program. Now if that doesn't work, you can go into Photoshop and do File, Scripts, Browse, and choose the install.jsx file and open and it's the same installation window so here just click on install and the installation is completed this is your action file if you check this box it will be loaded for you so just click on continue and everything is installed now if you just set up Photoshop then um, you have to go into your actions and here is the Pro Album Designer action set and you might want to put that up at the top and enter button mode. Now all these colorful buttons from about Pro Album Designer down to down rest, they belong to the Pro Album Designer. So to activate uh, click on the about button and this is the signature that you need to send to me if you want your activation code and down here is where you enter the activation code and click on activate and now you need to restart Photoshop and bridge okay so first just make sure that um, everything works. Um, just choose a few photos and make sure you have this menu called Pro Album Designer and you can just see if uh, you get a few template suggestions. Okay, we'll cover this in later videos. Um, what you want to do in Photoshop is to set up your palettes so that you have a few palettes visible at all times. So one of them is the um, uh, actions palette, another one is the history and what you can do is uh, let's say we want the actions over here at all time and then if you bring it over here you see there's this blue line so now that will be stuck onto the other palettes here. And then we can take the history and bring it down here at the bottom and there should be a blue line and then I let it go and then I have my history palette here. Uh, properties, we can close this group. Okay, so now I have my layers palette here, I have my history here and I have my actions here and I can make this a little bit smaller so that I see all the buttons belonging to Pro Album Designer here. So when you make a, a new spread uh, you can see your layers here, you can see the history here and you have all your commands here. Uh, also with the move tool active you want to have auto select turned on so that checkbox should be on. Additionally in view under show you want to make sure you have smart guides turned on. That will make it possible to uh, align two layers and get a little hint, a guideline showing when you're at exactly the same height or distance from, from the edge. Okay, well that would cover the installation, so please look at the other videos to see more about Pro Album Designer.